welcome back guys to the second part of this series and in this video we will start from where we left off in the last video so the second section we also had this image container class so we also have to write the code for our image container so let me bring the code for my image container here so simply i will have to set overflow to hidden and a height of 100 percent so everything that uh, is out of this container will remain hidden so now let's target the th third section so let me bring the code for my third section here so again it will have a width of 100% and a height of 150 viewport height and then the usual flex stuff to vertically align everything to the center so inside this we had this images wrapper and inside this we have six different images so first I will write the CSS for my image wrapper class so for that I am giving this in a margin top of 300 pixel and a flex direction of column and then aligning everything to the center so now they should be vertically aligned as you can see here now we have to target uh, each of these individual image so that they are stacked on top of each other so now all we have to do is target each of the individual image so let me bring for the code for it here so all I have to do is set a position value of absolute for each of these images so now they will be stacked on top of each other and then in the javascript file we will simply change the y value for it so let me save it now so that you can see the changes so now as you can see all of them are sitting here and as we scroll we will change the y value now let's target the fourth section so for this one also first of all i will target the fourth section class and uh, again similar properties that we are giving for our sections so in this we have images wrapper and then four different image so again we will have to do the similar stuff that we did in the third section so first of all for the images wrapper I will again give this one a display of flex flex direction column and aligning them to the center and then I will again target each of these individual images and give them a position of absolute so now they will be on top of each other so as you can see now uh, this is the top image and the rest three images are stacked behind this one so as we scroll we will change the opacity of the topmost image so that's it for the CSS part now we will start writing some JavaScript and uh, get started with our scroll animation so first uh, for this section we have to animate these uh, ingredient images from different position to its correct position and then for the second the third and then the fourth section so now i will open my main.js file so inside my main.js file which is currently empty i will start off by creating an event listener which is document that add event listener dom content loaded so every single javascript code will work once the dom content has been loaded so this will take a callback function and inside this we will write the remaining code so here I will start off by creating a controller which will be new scroll magic dot controller so this will basically control our scroll animation so after creating this uh, scroll magic dot controller we will create a new scene so I will write let scene is equal to new scroll magic dot scene so this will be new scroll magic dot scene and inside this we will pass an object which will define the properties such as the trigger element so first trigger element will be our first section now the next thing that we will add here is duration which I will set to 100% and now the third parameter will be trigger hook and I will set it to 0 and trigger hook 0 simply means as soon as the first section hits the top of the screen we will start animating but we will also have an offset of 300 which means uh, the animation will start for once the first section has 300 pixel from the top of the screen and we will add this set twin method and inside this we will pass the timeline which will we will be creating shortly 
now the next method is set pin and I will simply set the pin to the first section and setting pin I mean uh, uh, do not pass the first section without completing the animation and then I can say add to controller so now we have to define our timeline animation so I will create a new timeline and this one will, will be new timeline max and now we can uh, define what properties we want to change as we scroll so I will start off by creating a dot from and let me show you the first section so inside this we have our nine different section images and all we have to do is set from move them from whatever we define here to whatever we had defined in our CSS so we will write from section 101 and it will take four seconds and y will be minus 100 and x will be minus 150 now we can optionally pass an easing function which will be ease of and I will be using power 3 dot easing out now uh, we have to pass this timeline variable into our set twin method so now what will happen is from y is equal to minus 100 and x is equal to minus 150 it will move from it uh, from this position to whatever we have defined here in our CSS so let me save you and show this to you so now it will be start from here and as we scroll down it will gradually move to its correct position and once this animation is complete uh, we can scroll to the next section and now we have to repeat the same thing for our nine different image so I will simply copy paste it several times and simply change the X value and the Y value so now for the second one I will change the Y value to minus 150 and X is equal to minus 250 now you can experiment uh, along this value you, this value doesn't have to be exactly same as I am writing here so I am simply changing the X and Y for all, all the 9 images same thing for the 5th image I came along this value after experimenting a lot so uh, I'm not just uh, assuming these values uh, I experiment with it so that it looks perfectly fine and then for the eighth image and then finally for our final ninth image so let's save this and show you so as you can see uh, we have a slight problem here uh, the animation all of them do not start at the same time first for the first image then the second and so on so what we have to do is uh, pass an offset value so we will pass this one here and simply write minus equal to 4 which means it will start 4 seconds before the first animation first from animation is complete so when I add minus equal to 4 as an offset to each of these from method uh, what will happen is all these animation will start at the same time so now as you can see all of them start at the same time as we scroll so we have completed the scroll animation for our first section here now the next thing is to target this second section now the animation for this section is the easier one what we have to do is simply change the height of the top image wrapper layer and so that the bottom layer will get revealed so let me target this here so the process will be similar to what we have done for our first section we have we will have to create a new scene and let's call this one scene 2 and the trigger element will be changed to second section duration will remain the same and offset I am changing this one to 100 so uh, from 100 pixel from the top the animation will start 
and again set pin to second section and set twin will be timeline 2 which will be creating shortly so now I will create the timeline 2 which will be let timeline 2 is equal to new timeline max and then here we will simply change uh, the animation values so I will write timeline 2 dot this time I will be using the two method and for the top section I will target each of the image container and this will again take 4 seconds to complete and I will simply change the height to 0% so in the CSS we had the uh, height 100% and we will change this to height of 0 so as you can see each of the images wrapper in the top class which is this image container will have a height of 0% once we have scrolled so let's save this and now you can see as we scroll the topmost layer height gets changed to 0% and the bottom which was previously hidden gets revealed so that's the animation for the second section now we have target the third section and change the y value for each of the images as we scroll so again similar stuff here I will create a new scene and then a new timeline variable so what I will do is first of all copy this and change this to third section first let me change the variable name and then the trigger element will be third section and I will be changing the offset to 200 pixel so it will start when we hit 200 pixel from the top and the set twin will change take the variable of timeline 3 and the pin will be at the third section so inside the third section we have six different image which are currently stacked on top of each other and as we scroll we will simply change the y value for each of these individual image so this will give this uh, give us a perfect animation so I will start off by creating a new timeline variable which will be let timeline 3 is equal to new timeline max and now I will uh, target each of the images this time around also I will be using the two method and so first of all let's target this first image so to section 3 0 1 and this one will take again 4 seconds to complete and inside there we will change the y value to minus 250 so it will move 250 pixels to the top as we scroll and easing again will be power 3 dot easing out so let me save this and so, so now as we scroll you can see the top most move by 250 pixel and similarly we have to repeat the same thing for the remaining images so for each of these images I will simply copy paste it cause it will be a similar process so section 302 will move by y is equal to 200 so it will move 200 pixels to the top and again I will give this one a minus equal to 4 so both of these animations will start at the same time so now as you can see the first and the second image are an getting animated now we have to repeat the same thing for the remaining images so for the third one I will move it by minus equal to 100 for the fourth I will not be moving it so I am uh, simply saying y is equal to 0 then the 5 will move downwards so this one will be y is equal to 150 and then finally the sixth one uh, we will move it to plus uh, 250 so let me save this one now and now let me show you now as we scroll you can see each of these individual image will move uh, in the y direction with different values so this works perfectly fine so now we have to complete the animation for our final section so for the last section also it will be a similar process we have to define different scene and then a different timeline so 
so for this one I will call this one scene 4 and the trigger element will be changed to fourth section um, uh, then the set twin will take uh, timeline 4 and set pin will be fourth section so here I will define the timeline 4 so let timeline 4 is equal to new timeline max and then we will target each of the four images that we have in our fourth section so I will write timeline dot four dot two so let me show you uh, so what we will do is change the opacity of the first image from one to zero and then similarly change the opacity from zero to one for the remaining images so let's target this first image and this one will take again 4 seconds to complete and inside here I will write auto alpha which is nothing but opacity and I will change it to 0 so as we will scroll the first image opacity will be changed to 0 and now let me shape this and show this to you as we are scrolling I think I did a mistake here so actually it's not working because we are not able to see it actually the first image opacity is getting changed to zero but it's uh, already hidden by these three images so in order to see it working what we have to do is target the remaining three images and I will set uh, from I will use the from method this time and for the remaining images that will be two three and four I will uh, set their opacity which will be auto alpha to 0 so now what will happen is uh, for the, these three emails they will start with an opacity of 0 and the first one will have an opacity of 1 but as we scroll the uh, opacity of the first image will be set to 0 and for the remaining it will be set to 1 so section 4 3 and section 4 4 and uh, we don't need this offset here for the third and the fourth image initially the first image will have an opacity of uh, 1 but as we scroll it will be changed to 0 and the remaining images will get revealed so now as you can see the animation is per working perfectly fine and as we scroll the first image opacity changed to 0 and then the remaining images get revealed so what's happening here is the section 401 image we are setting its opacity to 0 as we scroll and then for the remaining images it will start with an opacity of 0 and get changed to whatever we have defined in our CSS which is simply opacity of 1 so that's it guys for this video and if you like this video then don't forget to hit the like button and also do subscribe and also press the bell icon and I will be back again with uh, another similar content so I will see you in the next one thanks for watching